I'm getting really enveloped with these pictures, aren't I? The nurse isn't even here anymore. She just must have, must have gotten tired of me staring at things. I haven't found any more map pieces, which is kind of unfortunate, but... Oh, well. Huh? That's new. I don't want to leave that way, though. I'll leave that way in a minute. And also, I'm gonna, just gonna stock up. Because I do get ammo out of these things. But I haven't been actually stocking them. I don't have any keys, though. Also, hey, I opened this, but one of, wait, no. Okay, so they must be, okay, so they leave them like that when they're empty. Oh, okay. But these ones just dispense ammo. But they're probably limited as well. Which is rather unfortunate, but oh well. Nurse, I would like to save. Actually, hang on a moment. I'll even buy that upgrade. Then I will save. Mm -hmm. Maximum sprint time. Fully upgraded! And now I can run for 10 seconds. I got basic exercise. I went down to Emmy's route. Yay! Now hopefully my heart doesn't give out. Okay, so, hmm. These are really expensive. Melee damage, I don't think we're actually gonna need melee damage, to be honest. It'd be nice to have the pistol do a little bit more damage considering the amount of ammo that we have. What can we do with the sniper rifle? Damage? I think we're good on damage with the sniper rifle. Stock. I can, however, upgrade basically all of the ammunition. Hmm. It would be very nice to have more of those. The sniper rifle is very useful, and being able to carry much more ammunition for it would actually help. So there's that. I feel alive, my heart is pumping, my lungs are full of air, and my belt is full of, well, 303 ammunition, evidently. Now we can see. Okay, there's that. See, I'm curious. Do we get to see the other side of the asylum at this moment? No, apparently not. However, there are a lot of ways out now. That mirror works, the mirror over there works. And evidently there's one by the window now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a take a new exit today. I'm gonna stare outside the the expanding uh, black abyss with whatever the hell that is out there. This I have no idea what it is. Looks like a looks like a whiskey bottle, honestly, just kinda in the ceiling, but it's probably a reflection, but there's nothing out there. Maybe I stare into this hole really, really hard. I'll see something. Maybe I'll just damage the windows. I hope the nurse doesn't mind. Okay, it just led me back out the way I came. Oh well. Joseph, sorry I was sitting in a corner mumbling to myself about that ghost of a nurse. Did you? You still haven't moved that fucking body, haven't you? Come on, you've got an axe. You could, you could figure something out with this. Come on, Jesus Christ! You were just chopping up bodies. You could have done it again. And oh look, a map piece. How about that? Map eleven. Right. That's unfortunate. I missed a lot of those. Ah. All right, fine. Let me just remove the evidence so we can keep going. We weren't responsible for this one. This one was an accident. However, it's in our way. It's interfering with police business. Get in the elevator, Joseph. There's some nice motion blur you got on there. It's yourself there, Joseph. You're not actually moving, though. It's just the game engine being retarded. See, there you are. You stabilized. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it's probably bad. Rather, probably will lead to something bad. What's over here? Syringes? I, do I, have I could be better. And we do have one of those, so... Uh... Hmm. Wait, no. What 
I wanted to do was put the grenades in there. Since we have three fucking grenades, if we need them, I'll use them. Shotgun, yeah, the shotgun's got more, uh, got a lot of ammo. However, the sniper rifle, well, now we got more rounds for that. Well, we don't have more rounds for that, but we've got plenty currently. This. Do you think Kidman is okay? Oh. I don't like that they used her as bait. Almost like someone's toying with us. Maybe they just think she's hot. <laughs> you doing okay there, Joseph? Just a little further. I'm assuming this is some form of body bag by, well, literally everything about it. Yeah, you see the, the head protrusion, the jiggle bones, the blood. No idea why the fuck that's there, but, well... Nothing these people really do makes any sense at all. Okay, they even have a gallows. They're what that guy do? We can take them. No, that's not. Oh. Joseph, you fool. You fool! You foolish fool! See, I told you you'd make a terrible counter terrorist. Oh, uh, well, now I gotta run before our stupid gets hanged over here. Or not hanged. Beheaded. Joseph. He's not French royalty! Stop! Now hang on here. Yeah, actually, fuck it. Hold it. Cease! Okay then. You're There's okay. that. I'm fine. No need to worry. <laughs> that was a rather, rather, you know, abrupt VO change there. Then again, well, actually, this game's actually fairly decently acted. However, in some cases, I think that's kind of a bad thing, to be honest. It's very much oozing with B-movie cheese, but the voice acting is competent. I think that kind of lets it down. I think this game would be better if the voice acting was more comical. That's just my you opinion. just let them. Huh? <laughs> What the hell? It's just a matter of time. What are you doing? It's better this way. Rookie! I got a lot of shit to do today! Fuck. I don't need you fucking going suicidal on me. Yeah, just believe with the man- Just believe in the man with the gun, please. Also, that was a mighty quick turnaround, don't you think? But yes, as I was saying, it's in my opinion and Cover the opinion me. of someone else that I was talking to about this game that the voice acting could be better serviced if it was actually worse. I know it's gonna sound funny, but I think it's true. You having fun staring over there? Hey! I wasn't in this for a trade, buddy! That's not what I want to throw. Well, that one didn't actually hit me. Excuse me. Thank you. Okay, then. Got that yet? I'm gonna go salvaging goo. I've killed them all, though, so we'll be fine. Watch me as I teleport across this. <laughs> and more guys appear behind me than there actually was. Artificial tension. Joseph. Amazing. All right. I. I. Yeah. Okay, that was a little bit worser acted, but come on, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta chew the scenery, Joseph. Come on. You gotta make it memorable. Give. Be like Tim Curry in Red Alert 3. You gotta be fucking memorable Bob, about this. You gotta look at the script, you gotta laugh at the script, and then you gotta hold in the laughter, but you still gotta say the lines. Come on, say it with me. SPACE! SPACE! 
He'll get it eventually. This looks like some kind of a marketplace. It looks deserted, just like everywhere else. We ought to keep moving. Well, I'm just gonna steal everything first, so excuse me. It's gonna be a long investigation. Wow, look at all this soil and green. Excuse me. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. And there's also a chest, which has a bomb in it. Where's the point? Where is it? Where's the point? Where is it? There it is. Does it seem Fuck. a little harder to move lately? No. But after I take this, well, this morphine, apparently, it might be a little hard for me. But that's... That's none of your concern. So, excuse me while I, I feed my wasting addiction here. Ow. Right in the fucking chest. God damn, Sebastian. He doesn't joke around. He wants that shit right in his veins. Good lord. Learn by that example, Joseph. Makes you a stronger man. Puts hair on your chest. Also shortens your lifespan. Things. They might be nearby. But that's a secondary concern. Let's see here. Let's see that. I suppose we can re-equip the shotgun now. But, in any case, right. You see, shortens your lifespan, however, well, live fast, die young, leave a good looking corpse. However, I won't be leaving a corpse here. Excuse me. Anything in the pot? That's not what I wanted to die. Apparently the pot is just stuck there. Fine. Whatever. Oh, hello. Father was a stern man. Proud. And I thought intelligent. But he was also pious. A believer. Somehow he always supported the church, no matter what the newspaper said. I think I smell those he things. Away the Shut up! I'm listening to this guy's edgy diary! The wretched, the vermin, the stern. All were taken in by that church. They were promised salvation and Does eternal it life. harder to move lately? Shut but up, Joseph! I promise that I couldn't take away. Jesus Christ. I see Ruvik's voice actor is actually pretty on par here. He just sounds like he's tr someone trying to do a Batman voice and be incredibly edgy. Father was a stern man. I didn't want to actually Proud. replay that, though. And I thought until I it smell those things. But he was he's still fine. fucking talking over it. I'm the only one who was allowed to talk over Somehow dialogue. He always supported the church no matter what the newspaper said. He waved away the allegations as if they were infallible. The wretched. The vermin. The stern. All were taken in by that church. They were promised salvation and eternal life. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing they could promise that I couldn't take away. Mm -hmm. We got ourselves a super duper edge lord here, ladies and gentlemen. And it looks like we've looted the entire place. Aside from this place over. This, uh, wait, no, there's some over there too. Excuse me. I'm confiscating all of this for the investigation. That's... Okay, well, Joseph just kind of superhumanly hopped up there like that, and I just leaped off a, like a, like a three-foot drop. Not sure where, you know, what uh, plane of reality we come from, but, well, uh, it's a video game. It looks like there's, there might be more over here. Okay, I had the axe there, but I'll just Isaac Clark smash the thing. That looks like a probable exit. Oh, nice! Yeah, I knew there was something back there. 
Excuse me, Joseph, get out of the way. I gotta loot more. Okay. Racking up goo pretty effectively here. Oh, excuse me. Is it? Is it? Is it? Ah, right. Kind of blended into the ground there. Let's check out this house. This house looks like it might have something important. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I can actually get to the house. Unless there's a door here. Excuse me. Excuse me. No, actually, no. Can't go through it. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Excuse me. Hello. I'm sneaking into places where I shouldn't be. Ha, ha. It doesn't look like I can go to the house, though, but there's still a statue over here. Yay, key. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Maybe, maybe if I look hard enough, I can look, I can find one. I can open the nurse's chastity belt. Maybe, just maybe. Wait. Ha! See, the problem with these crates is they don't look, they kind of blend in with the environment. They look like average, they look like they should be there. That's kind of the problem. That's not actually what I'm used to in video games. I'm used to crates in video games not being highlighted, but being suspiciously textured and placed. So they actually look like, oh hey, I can interact with this. But, well, these ones actually blend into the environment. Not sure if that's a good or a bad thing at the end of the day. But whatever, I looted everything in that square. <coughs> Where do you suppose we are? More like when? This architecture seems straight out of the Middle Ages. Yeah, but there's electricity. Elevators. This place can't be real. It's like jumbled up memories. Hmm. That's an interesting concept. Excuse me as I take notes. But yes, I wouldn't think that this place is actually real. But I'm still seeing this, seeing to where the game is actually going to take us with this, well, insane shenanigans. <coughs> uh, that's probably fatal. Shit. Let's hide out in here for a minute. What are you worried about? I got plenty of ammo. Hello, Mr. Bones. Is this Man has a flask. Like, After the accident? Well, I never put a gun to my head. No, of course not. Just quietly sank into a bottle. Yeah, the man's way out. We can't all be perfect. It never affected my work. I'd rather be imperfect than dead. Hey, you read the IA report. You know I didn't report you because I was worried about your work, Sebastian. <sighs> what else is there? We don't have it's time kinda... for this. I need my partner here. Yeah, we don't have time for plot here. Even though I'm the plot strings in this game are so amazingly thin that they almost don't matter. That's kind of the, that's about what I was going to say. There's obviously underlying plot here with everything, but Find the something? fact of the matter is, Maybe. it's all symbols. Some kind of cult could be useful. We'll scribble that shit down. I think I'm okay. We should probably get going. I'm not sure what the fuck's going on here, but as I was saying, yeah, the plot strings or the subplot or character development is so fucking paper thin that really, it doesn't matter. Oh, well, there you go. Another map fabric. I need to be looking out for these a little bit more because they seem to just be placed in fucking plain sight. Lighthouse Asylum, huh? Huh! Ah. I never actually got to... I, I, I don't think I actually got a good look at the matchstick box before, but yeah, uh, evidently. Lighthouse Asylum. Hmm. It appears I was right. We'll let the story prove me right later. Excuse me. I need to make a grand entrance to stare at a mirror. Joseph, I need my privacy. Please. Get out. Get, get out. Get, 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 
Get, get, get, get, get fuck. All right, fine, fine. Stare at me. Stare at me as I mentally masturbate into this mirror. I hope you're comfortable. I hope the nurse is happy that I'm keeping images of all the save rooms. I'm collecting them all, really. Uh, hey, yeah, look at that. There's a map here that seems to... Actually, if that's the mental hospital, and this is the church, then, yeah, this actually would be somewhere around... Actually, no, wait. No, that doesn't make any sense, because... If that's there, then on the other side of the... The lake, it would seem, would be the mental hospital, wouldn't it? Or rather, maybe this square in between these two is just, you know, just the river itself, and then whatever the hell we keep staring at, staring at across the river is the thing we keep seeing. It can't be the mental hospital, though, because it looks like that's completely laid out wrong. However, well, eh. Hmm. Confusing. But that's very interesting, you see. I suppose one of the things that actually I found it uh, like one of the things I found helpful whenever I was planning out artificial worlds is to actually make a map of some kind. It may be kind of hard to do to think out these kinds of things because you know city planning is actually fairly difficult. But if you plan out a map, it sort of helps you actually plan events, routes in the story, and just get a better feel for well where the thing is going. Isn't that funny? Getting a better idea of where you're going by making a map. Seems sensible, but, yeah, well, not something you run to when you're actually writing. So, it seems like they've made a pretty disturbing, strange reality here, but, hmm, perhaps the map is important because of that. But I have, no, I have absolutely no fucking idea where the hell they're going with that map, and the layout of this place doesn't really make any sense. But then again, we're only looking at pieces of the map. Okay, then. So, there's that. Goodbye, nurse. Actually, no, wait a minute. No, I reconsidered. I need to actually spend my goo. Hang on. I mean, the goo in the jars, not... not the, you know what I mean. Okay, so... So we can do is just up, flat out upgrade our life, too. That would work. Being more durable helps. Let's do that. Hmm. My stock of things. More matches would be helpful considering that we keep running out of those fucking things, as would the syringes, to be honest. But, eh. What else can we take? Grenades? We don't need more grenades. We got plenty of fucking grenades. Eh. I guess I'll keep what I got for now. Now we can save him. Sorry about that, nurse. I'm all over the fucking place. Wait, wrong fucking button. See? See? I'm a mess. This is why I need help. But, in any case, let's go back to reality. Or rather, could this be the dream and the mental hospital is the reality? Maybe I just stare into mirrors all day and think up to think up these wild fantasies where I'm this grizzled action hero. Joseph, you have to. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna phase right through you. I hope you cope. I hope you're really comfortable with that. But yes, maybe this is the dream. Hold on. What the hell's going on over there? Let me climb up here and see if I can get a look ahead. Joseph. You going forward has always resulted in problems. You know that? You all right? Yeah. Oh, look, a rifle. You can help. You can use that and to, to cover me. But it seems like there's something else going on way the fuck down there. Oh, look. It's those two, finally. Hey, that's Kidman. Who's that she's with? It's Leslie!
Come on, you can steal from a dead man. There you go. What I found seems to be in working condition. Go on ahead, I'll cover you. See, I've already got a sniper rifle, though. I can handle Oh! Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to find a new mirror to stare into. Uh oh. Ah! We seem to be sniped. Or being sniped. Ow! Oh, he's right fucking there. Duh. Some really great cover, Joseph! Right! You only take that fucking rifle and shove it directly up your ass, and then I can cover myself. And this... Ugh. Muddy water and graves. That's a new one. Okay, it's a pressure plate. There's my cover. See, so there you go. I'm just gonna burn that underwater. Just whatever. Did they drop anything important? They might have. Hang on here. Is that a syringe? I think so. Okay, so we stand on the pressure plate. And then walk through the door. Sebastian, that should lead you out near the path to the church. Keep going, I'll cover you. You know, rather than staring at this guy, I could kill him and then use the dip. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, well, that, that solves that problem. However, that's a kind of a very large problem. Very, very big problem. It's sizable. Very large. Humongous. I got him! I think. Oh, fucking hell. Another one? Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Excuse me! Well, at least this one doesn't have a giant fuck off wolf. We got an achievement. Look at us go. Shit. A dead end. I'm not even over there to fucking check! Let's meet up by the horse statue there. Yeah, okay, fine, whatever. This way. I was gonna go that way because obviously I can't go any other fucking way. But okay, fine, whatever. You're leading the show now, Joseph. This is evidently broken now. Let's see here. This way. Yes, Joseph, that is a horse. What's this? Graveyard note. Walt. I've gone to go uh, to get Donna back. I saw how to get into the wolf's den, and I'm getting her back. I won't let her be a sacrifice. Don't follow. Just stay and watch the family. I'll bring her back. Daniel. Wait, there was something about a horse in that house back there. Let me see what I wrote. All right then, Nathan Drake, figure it out. Oh, well look at that. We oh go wait. Down. No, wait, so. don't go down. No. I got a bad feeling about holes in the ground. I don't want to be in one. And also, why am I back here? Nurse? N nurse? N nurse, why am I back here? I didn't I didn't see a mirror. Nurse? Nurse, I'm having a relapse. Please, get my painkillers. I don't have any fucking keys. Uh, which one did I lock the whiskey behind? Nurse! Nurse! No, there's nurse. Okay. Everything's perfectly fine. Just gonna see. 
I have no idea what's gonna go on now, but there you go. I seem to seem to have been deposited back here for no apparent reason. So I'm just gonna go. Evidently that fall down that hole probably knocked me out. Also leading but Are you then again. Right? Making me think that this is, in fact, the fake reality, and the mental hospital is either a tether to all these fake realities, or simply my way of mind. You don't need to worry about me. Then again, the chair is obviously, uh, well, hmm, a little bit too archaic, so maybe it's a whole of Most likely. Okay. Body's just hanging out here. I was trying to help, I didn't shoot you. Joseph, J Joseph, you see that. I didn't kill that man. I was trying to help that man. But apparently, I'm just making up shit now. That wasn't there. That wasn't real. It's just me pretending to be the hero, saving people from being killed before they are. But they're all actually dead. There was nothing I could do. This is rather elaborate. Okay. Evidently, it's something to do with these pedestals and the way forward. What's this? Oh, it's just a harpoon in the wall. Excuse me. Okay. Go. Okay, so. What do you make of this writing? Doesn't mean anything to me, should it? Now hold on a second. I jotted something down earlier. All right, well, explain it to me, genius. It seems the sacrifices need to be lowered onto the proper altars, and the safe way to him will be open. Safe way to God? Okay, so seven... Well, okay. Hmm. Apparently... Oh, uh, okay. Well, you're already there. You're fine. I'm gonna probably have to burn you to death, though, but that's... Well, that's just a thing. That's just something we're gonna have to deal with. Okay. So... Maybe it's... Maybe that's seven. In which case, that's... Okay, well, let's just pull one of the levers and see what actually happens. If I can actually pull one of the fucking levers. Did I accidentally just solve that puzzle? Hey. Hey! Thank you! But, uh, yeah. Apparently what I needed was the number seven, and I just kind of pulled one at random and it turned out to be... Set. You see, I thought it was because that's not marked, so I thought, well, maybe it was twisted around the right way, the, well, the other way around, and I needed to figure out the perception in order to solve the puzzle, but no! No, that's... that's seven. That's nine. This is three, and this is, well, five. Yeah, look at that, Joseph. I'm accidentally a fucking genius. Let's, look Let's go! Ow! <laughs> okay, video game. All right, fine. Maybe you did have more puzzles. Okay. Well, that's how Fonto died in the horror movie. I thought I solved the puzzle, and then I died horribly. That's embarrassing, but hey, well... That's Let's Plays.
You didn't come to see me be good at right? playing the game. It's casual. It doesn't mean anything to me. Should it? Hold on a second. I jotted something down earlier. I wanted to pick up the fucking... You fuck... J Joseph, I'm, I want to... F fine, whatever. It seems the sacrifices need to be lowered onto the proper altars, and the safe way to him will be open. Okay. So let's try and do that the correct way. Though, I probably, I probably wouldn't be the first person to fuck it up like that. That seems designed to kill you once. Okay, so, there's that. That's fucking broken, so that's staying there. That's three. Okay, so... Five? Okay, yeah, I also heard something. Maybe, ah, right, maybe maybe the slashes mean that everything has to be depressed except for seven. We're gonna move across carefully. Very carefully. Wait, don't kill me yet, video game. I'm only trying to see your logic here. Eh? Okay, we seem to be fine. All right then, good. It seems that was correct. Yes, because we're not dead. We do know the, we know the price is for failure, instant death. And... That's quite the bass spear you got there. We're not gonna have to ride in that, are we? Well, Joseph seems perfectly fucking enthusiastic about that one. Alright then, fine, whatever. Let's go da let's go for a fucking nautical adventure in... It, actually, no, we're just going up. Okay, good. Fan, fantastic. Just have to deal with the hanging visceral. I was expecting us to have to go through a fucking nautical adventure through bodily fluids. 